Today I'm on a mission. I'm gonna find Nemo and then I'm gonna feed him. Can we drive and launch it? We oh, can. RC sailors. <gasps> I'm Nate. Amelia is with Grandma. Dance, dance, Papa dance, dance, is dance. Sadly, back at home. We are the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. I hope you've been enjoying Boat Week because we have. Yeah. We love doing RC boats. We love getting out by a lake and just relaxing. And uh, now we're feeding fish. So it's even better. If only my friends, the ducks, would show up. That's all I'm missing. Uh -huh. These are my new friends, Hank and Frank. This might look similar to the last fishing feeding boat we did. It's the same brand, Flytech, but this is the V500. It, it's a little bit different here. The battery is different where you charge right here. And I've been working in the garden, so excuse my nasty fingernails. <laughs> so you plug this in right here to charge it. Here's the end. It does come with this US converter for your charger. Very long cable. It has two hatches like our last feeding boat. It has the on off switch with the light indicator. It has one bright light in the front mm -hmm. and two lights on the back. The props are caged. So keep your little pond fishies safe. Maybe we'll finally see a fish eat some bread today. I don't know. Where's Nemo? Someone help me. It comes with a carrying case, which is cool. So if it gets wet, you won't get the inside of your car all wet. Here's a bag of spare parts with a couple extra props and some other various little things. And the biggest upgrade on this is that it comes with a ground vehicle type controller. This seems to be the nicest transmitter. The optional lanyard yeah. on there. And it looks like you have some channel buttons. So Hi. that's probably how you do the hatches. Yes, that's right. Cool. Each one. Let's do it. I gotta get some bread and then I'm gonna feed the fish that apparently don't exist this week. <laughs> Almost forgot. The fish have to know where the food came from. That's right. <laughs> All right, we got our bread. We have our awesome decal right there. If you want some RC Sailor stickers of your own, you can pick them up over on our Patreon account. We use them as rewards for our patrons and we have our new sticker loyalty program. So the longer you remain a patron, the uh, more stickers you get. So let's go feed Nemo now. The only way I'm gonna drop my transmitter is if I fall in. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Abby <laughs> says when you, when you give it direction, just steering and no throttle, it does kick one motor on. So my steering is reversed. I have to figure out which one. There you go. You there got it? Go. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. I like the looks of this one the most. Oh, I don't know. The camo was really cool too. Uh, our black and white. It looks uh, good, doesn't it? Rope logo looks good. Yeah, so you can see when I give it a little bit of turning input, the other prop stops spinning. Right, makes sense. And then turning left, the right prop kicks on more. Yep. And going straight, they both kick on. Try those lights. Okay, I'll bring it back toward us. Very cool. Obviously that handle there is for carrying it. This channel three button that almost looks like it could light up is the light control. Cool. But boom, 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 boom. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Let's see the back lights too. There's one. Cool. It's probably a little bit harder to see. I was hoping to do one of these videos in the evening, but maybe we will some other time because those are very bright lights. Are you launching here, Abby? No, I was just trying to show you the light. I see, I see, I see. Okay, you ready to launch? You launch one, I launch the other. There's two little channel buttons on the top of the transmitter. Yeah. So, boom! Oh, that one yeah, launches Narcy far. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, my turn. This, this does have proportional throttle. There's me just barely giving it any juice, and there's full throttle. I think this is my favorite one. This is the same price as the first fish feeding boat we did, uh, but this one just seems, I don't know, it just seems nicer. I like the controller better. Too. The controller feels really yeah. good. If you just give it turning, it'll turn basically on a dime. If you give it throttle and turning, it's a wider turn. Yes. Okay, let's, let's face the breadcrumbs 
the right way here. And we'll launch it. What happens if you hit the same button again? I hear the servo yeah. pulling, but... Okay, you ready? You got the right angle? Yeah. Can we drive and launch it? ka -cha! Yes, you can. Oh, RC sailors. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Pull the bread. That's that so is funny. one slice of bread in each side, just so you guys know. <laughs> All of our fish feeding boats have been one slice of bread per tray. <laughs> I like that this one has two, or well, the last, this one and the last one we did have two trays because like you could feed the one side of your pond, then you drive over and you feed the other side of your pond without having to come back yeah. and fill up. I like that too. Obviously, these, I know this is a lake, not a pond. These are a <laughs> lot of fun. They're so unique and it's definitely, as we've said in the other ones, not for everybody, but I think that you could buy any one of the three that we've demonstrated and be very happy with them. Although I personally think the two fly techs, the camo one from old redneck Nate and this one <laughs> seem to perform the best. And the, the battery seems like it's holding up really well because our little indicator on the side of the last one and this one didn't show any signs of draining. Like you guys can see, let's try to park this in some, some my shade of my head here. <laughs> see, we still have a full battery. So that's pretty great. You could easily feed your fish probably for like like a week or something, maybe longer without even having to charge this again. So I think this is a fun, unique setup. I applaud unique, especially when it works and it's not crazy overpriced. I think this is a fair, reasonable price and it feels like a very heavy piece of quality work. I I'm a huge fan. Guys, if you like this too, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.